Is death inevitable? Until now, the history of mankind has been marked by this fatal fact. Religions, borders, and progress are born from an ancient fear of death. Comfort from this fear man often found only in religious paradigms. But according to Jose Luis Cordero and David Wood, the incontrovertible fact of death is no longer an absolute certainty. Science and technology are preparing to tear down the final frontier, that of immortality. The exponential growth in the power of our technology opens up one of the most captivating possibilities, that within the lifetimes of those already born, death might become an optional fate. This visionary concept was passionately advocated by Jose Cordero during his appearance on the London Futurists podcast. Born in Venezuela to parents who sought refuge from Franco's dictatorship in Spain, Cordero has come full circle, having returned to Spain via the USA, while another dictatorship emerged in Venezuela. He boasts an impressive educational and early career background as an engineer, having studied at prestigious institutions such as MIT, Georgetown University, and INSEAD, followed by work at Schlumberger and Booz Allen. Presently, Cordero stands as the foremost transhumanist in Spain and Latin America, and he holds significant influence within transhumanist circles worldwide. A devoted follower of Ray Kurzweil's ideas, he co-authored the book The Death of Death with David Wood in 2018. I guess I'm the litmus test for how far you can take it in terms of being active and being over middle age. We're the first generation on the planet that understands what makes us age. Increasing the healthy lifespan of people around the world is the greatest benefit we can give to humanity. And hopefully one of these things clicks. If FDA will recognize aging as a disease, it's going to be a massive inflection point for all of us. I'm mean, very excited. I think that aging can be cured a lot faster than most people are projecting. The prospect of living up to 200 years is really nothing. So don't do anything stupid to die today so you can take advantage of the technology that are coming up in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw reversal of aging in every way imaginable. It's wild. If we can imagine it, we can make it happen. Cordero has earned the reputation of being a hopeless optimist, always bursting with energy. He passionately advocates that life is beautiful and believes that we should savor more of it than nature has initially granted us. His optimism about longevity stems in part from the existence of immortal cells in our bodies and certain organisms like bacteria, some hydras, and certain jellyfish, which do not age and can potentially live indefinitely unless affected by predators or accidents. These organisms suggest that life on Earth originally started without built-in aging. As for Ray Kurzweil, he is a divisive figure. But credit is due to him for bringing attention to the astonishing impact of Moore's Law, which observes that $1,000 worth of computing power doubles in capability every 18 months. This exponential growth in computing power led Kurzweil to envision machines with cognitive abilities equivalent to adult humans within his lifetime. Back in the 1980s, Kurzweil collaborated with Marvin Minsky, one of the pioneering figures in artificial intelligence, while he was working at MIT. It was during this time that Cordero studied at MIT and took some courses with Minsky, which eventually led him to discover Kurzweil's book, The Age of Intelligent Machines. It's an odd fact that many people are blasé about the idea of radically extended longevity. There is a very common tendency to say that 80 years is a good and proper length of time to live, and wanting more is greedy and inappropriate. Cordero thinks this attitude arises from our need to make death less horrifying. We convince ourselves that death gives meaning to life, and so, to coin a phrase, we are able to live with death. But is there any reason to believe that humans could be given radically longer lifespans in the near term? The oldest person who ever lived died at the age of 122 back in 1997, and average life expectancy in the U.S. and the U.K. have actually declined in recent years. According to Cordero, remarkable strides have been achieved in the past decade towards extending the lifespans of various animal models. 
For instance, the lifespans of certain mice have been doubled, while some fruit flies experienced a four-fold increase and certain worms, termed Methuselah worms, have lived the human equivalent of 1,000 years. Although no human has undergone such dramatic lifespan extension, there have been encouraging advancements in rejuvenating human cells. Shinya Yamanaka, a Japanese scientist who received the 2012 Nobel Prize for Medicine, and his team demonstrated the rejuvenation of skin cells. Currently, they are focusing on eyes, relatively small organs with fewer connections to the rest of the body. Successful experiments have been conducted with mice and monkeys, and human trials have already commenced. The recent surprising progress can be attributed to the exponential growth in computer technology's power and the development of innovative techniques like CRISPR-Cas9. This exponential growth suggests that future breakthroughs will likely occur much faster than most people anticipate. And also, if cancer can stop aging, so can we. Cordero's perspective is that if certain cells, like germ cells responsible for reproduction and cancerous cells, can evade aging, then we too should be capable of achieving a similar outcome. The scientific community does not universally agree on a single theory about the causes of aging. Instead, vigorous debates exist among advocates of various theories. Some liken aging to the wear and tear of a car, where cellular processes mirror rust and parts falling off in a vehicle. Others propose the concept of built-in obsolescence through evolution, where older members of a species die to make way for improved, younger individuals. Cordero takes an unconventional stance in this debate by dismissing its significance. He contends that the key lies in understanding how non-aging cells and organisms manage to evade the aging process and then replicating those techniques. In his view, this approach is the crucial path to address the challenges of aging. Cordero firmly rejects the argument that aging must have a good reason since evolution allowed it to happen. He points out that science has helped us overcome many defects that evolution initially endowed us with, such as diseases and deteriorating eyesight. Additionally, aging appears in such diverse forms that it cannot be attributed to a single purpose. Even among mammals like mice with a lifespan of two years and whales living for hundreds of years, Aging serves vastly different functions, leading to such distinct manifestations. The optimism surrounding longevity research arises from two factors. Firstly, the exponential rate of technological improvement being employed in this research fuels hope for significant advancements in the years to come. Secondly, the allocation of substantially greater resources to this field has contributed to increased optimism while only millions of dollars were invested in the research a few years ago. Now billions of dollars are being dedicated to it, and soon that figure will reach the trillions. Cordero firmly believes that longevity medicine will become the largest industry in human history within a few years. In line with Ray Kurzweil's beliefs, Cordero is convinced that by 2029, we will reach longevity escape velocity, Levy. This concept implies that for every year that passes, scientific progress will add an extra year to our lifespan, offsetting the time we just lived. Therefore, if someone manages to survive until 2030, death should theoretically become optional for them. The potential implications of this idea are profound and could transform the way we perceive life and mortality. Politicians must give earnest attention to these developments, not only because the eradication of aging would be the most momentous achievement in human history, but also due to the enormous longevity dividend it offers. Aging, along with the diseases it brings forth, such as heart disease, dementia, and cancer, heavily burdens the health care budgets of nations worldwide. Governments are struggling to manage the rising costs associated with these age-related ailments. If we can effectively cure aging, there is a potential to significantly reduce these healthcare expenses. Cordero asserts that the most impactful contribution a region or country could make is to officially classify aging as a curable disease. This declaration would attract substantial funding and draw a surge of scientific talent into the field. It is worth noting that a staggering 90% of human deaths are caused by aging and age-related diseases, 
whereas all other factors combined, such as malaria, suicide, drugs, war, famine, etc., only account for 10% of human mortality. By recognizing aging as a curable condition and directing resources towards its resolution, there is a unique opportunity to revolutionize healthcare and alleviate the immense burden posed by age-related diseases on society and healthcare systems. As we contemplate the astonishing prospect of defeating aging and witness the potential impact on human history, it becomes apparent that these developments demand the attention of politicians worldwide. The implications of extending human lifespan and effectively curbing age-related diseases are profound not just for individuals, but for entire nations and healthcare systems. Now we turn to you, dear viewer. What are your thoughts on these transformative possibilities? Should we declare aging a curable disease to attract much needed funding and scientific talent? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments below. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments in longevity research and the pursuit of conquering aging. Stay tuned for more insights and genius discoveries as we navigate through the ultimate game of life. Ready to level up?